Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have another part of Not So Bailey. So I've been playing a little bit off camera. Um, kind of dealing with some stuff, but just kind of like getting her to work on her book. Uh, she's over here listening to a tab cast and doing her homework. But yeah, I was really just trying to focus on getting Rosa's life story book done. That was kind of my biggest thing. And I didn't want you guys to just kind of have to sit there and watch her just type and kind of take care of herself. And then watching Amber working out and listening to Tabcast like she's been doing, just kind of working on skills and stuff. So I figured I would go ahead and just kind of skip over that and pick up now. But I hope that you are all having a really good day. That was very quick homework. I'm not mad at it, though. You can go ahead and clean if you want. Okay, so I have her still listening to a tabcast. She should be leveling up here just now. Oh, I actually didn't realize that we were up to level 10. So she just got up to level 10, and the Builder Society put in a good word, so she gets a discount whenever she buys new furniture for her home. That's awesome. I'm honestly not mad at her having her handiness up to level 10 as a teenager, even though it's probably not the most realistic. But yeah, so it's mastered, which is great. And athletic, we're getting closer to level 8. Um, Rosa just left work, which is great. I had her working a little bit of overtime for this reason only. I wanted her to get a promotion, and now we're up to male, which I think is fantastic. But now we have to do more funding. <laughs> so, Okay, so I invited Peppermint over, so she's kind of here to hang out. Um, I'm sure you guys probably aren't surprised that Amber's over there working out still. Um, no. Not leaving Amber here by herself. If we weren't working on a challenge, then I wouldn't have cared. But we're at a point where I still kind of need... Uh, 7,825. Awesome. But what I was going to say... We're going to announce a promotion quick. But what I was going to say is we kind of need Rosa here. I can't just, like, send her off on vacation. So she's just going to hang out, and I want to see if Patterns and the rest of the Baileys will come over. Latosha, when did we... Okay, um, that's kind of sad that Peppermint moved out and didn't take Julep. That makes me really sad, but apparently we now have another kid in the family. So uh, those ones are just like adopting like crazy. Okay, so wasn't expecting this in the slightest. I was just trying to get Amber to work on her homework and uh, now we're being abducted. So you know we're just gonna kind of uh, work on that I guess. See what kind of happens. You guys can see that I have some Christmas lights up. Okay so you guys can see I put up some red Christmas lights which might I should have probably done yellow but uh, yep here's our little yellow gen sim just you know casually being abducted by aliens which I can't say I was expecting in the slightest, but uh, at the same time, I feel like it kind of makes sense. Okay, so it is now, Amber got um, her school up, but now we just got a promotion to governor. So we're doing pretty good with Rosa's job. I feel like she's definitely getting promoted quite a bit. And I know that this uh, generation's probably a bit more disconnected, but Honestly, there's a lot of skill building just kind of going on. But I want to send Peppermint, uh, Peppermint, this is Rosa. I wanted to send her over to the family home, but it doesn't look like anybody's currently home. Um, and she actually has an opportunity to meet four new Sims. But, uh, maybe I'll send her like out to like a club or something for that. But I really wanted to send her over and see if we could get some money out of the other berries. Okay, so I went ahead and threw a fundraising party. Which, you guys know, I don't typically do the campaign fundraising stuff. Um, unless, I, well, for this series. I did it quite a bit in my last one. Um, and I don't actually quite remember how they work. So I don't remember if I need to, like, ask people for money kind of thing. But um, it's nice to see Valentine because we haven't really seen a whole lot of him lately. So here he is. Uh, that was not what I meant to click on. Pausing that. I don't want to consider the attractiveness when it comes to patterns. Um, 
That's so weird. I can't ask patterns for the campaign donation, so I don't know what's up with that. I think that's kind of like really weird. I don't know if maybe that's a bug. I don't know. But uh, we have some beakers out here. This is Adri and this is her boss. I think they're actually like best friends. So how about we come out here and ask for the campaign donation? To be honest with you, I don't think we need to. Um, I'm pretty sure doing like the campaign parties, you end up just kind of getting money. But uh, again, I don't entirely remember. So I'm just kind of asking people for campaign donations just to kind of be safe. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll just kind of see what you can see. Like her and Adrian have like a super good relationship. Um, they are best friends, which I think is super cool. Uh, okay. I don't really care. Valentine gave us some money. Awesome. Look at a little puppy. Um, Adrian also just gave us some money, so we're getting closer. Our funding's not terrible. Debbie Lake, who are you? How about... I don't know. I'm trying to just kind of... Okay, so we're over here just kind of talking to Loki. Um, he's apparently famous. So, uh, that's always fun, I guess. But I kind of want her to, like, get her relationship up with him. I guess it wasn't her, I was going to say. I thought she had a relationship with him already. Okay, so our party, I think, is over because everybody's leaving. Um... It seems like everybody had a decent time. I don't really know. Like, it said that everybody's, like, going... Okay. So, she's over here talking to Elsa. Um, which you guys might remember. Elsa, I think, was our treehouse woohoo. I think. Um, so, she just actually gave us some money as well. So, we can go ahead and head on home. Okay. So, we actually raised 52,000 at Simoleons. That's crazy to me. So, we definitely need... Okay. Um, Amber is getting her athletic skill up to level 9. She's getting definitely a lot closer to mastering it. And this little one is hanging out over here on the computer doing some work from home. It is actually snowflake day and I know you guys are probably like, why are you not throwing a party? This is like the second generation and I haven't had a snowflake day party. With me seeing Rosa as like this like super workaholic sim, I just don't see her. Okay, so we're getting kind of somewhere. She's, you guys can see, here's her progress for her athletic skill, which is great. She wanted to throw a gift-giving party, which I don't think we're going to do. It's a little bit late in the day. Um, I don't see Rosa as being one who's, like, big on the holidays. I definitely feel like that wouldn't be her thing. She grew up not really having any snowflake days. Um, just because, like a lot of work and stuff being done but now I feel like Peppermint's like definitely more of like a snowflake day person compared to Rosa. Rosa I feel like is like a huge workaholic doesn't really care for the holidays or like family time unless it's getting her ahead in her career but uh she's just gonna kind of hang out with Copper for a little bit while Amber goes ahead and grabs um I guess it's lunch technically a little bit of a late lunch uh you guys can see that Amber is actually getting some friends, um, with distant friends with her cousin, but they're not, like, any higher than just friends, and I honestly figured that Peppermint would be gone by now. She's not, obviously, so, uh, poor little Amber's kind of getting a late start in life with her friendships and stuff like that, but it happens. Okay. So, Rosa's actually feeling kind of stressed out. I'm going to let her just kind of clean up a little bit. I feel like, I don't know. Oh, actually, Amber's going to by the looks of it. So, never mind. You can go ahead and watch some TV to get your stress levels fixed up here. And just kind of see. But I guess Amber's going to clean up. I don't know why I'm getting stories for these other sims. I swear I fixed my story progression settings. Maybe I didn't, but I thought I did. Um... We're going to go ahead and change this to action because I feel like that helps a little bit more. I'm so like you guys can like hear that call. I feel like it's like super loud. I don't know. But, uh, okay, so they're going to come over. Awesome. Oh. Okay, so Peppermint's coming over. Carlo is not. Um... 
Okay, so I'm just going to get Amber just to kind of take care of her own needs here a little bit while Rosie just watches a little bit of TV. Um, Jonas is now the father of a new baby. Okay, I feel like he's a little old to be having babies, but you know, no judgment. I really need to get Amber's social up, which is kind of why I was inviting Peppermint over. And then at the same time, I figured, you know, if I invite over Carlo, then we can, like, meet him. Because, I mean, he must be something special if she married him after Morgan. But uh, you can come over here and invite your grandma inside. And then you're actually getting a phone call, so you can go ahead and answer that in case it's something to do with work or something along those lines. Uh, hey Rosa, this is Nikki Wong. I heard you know how to throw a good party. I mean, okay. I'll let Rosa go on party, that's fine with me. Um, I feel like she might be able to do a little bit of, like, networking. I feel like that would be her reasoning for partying. It's like, going out, doing some networking. Uh, apparently Valentine is fishing. But yeah, I feel like that would be her thing. Like, oh, I'm gonna go out to this party. I'm gonna go ahead and network a little bit. See what I can do. And get to know the people in Aurora Skies. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I didn't want you to clean, actually. I was trying to get you to come over here and watch a little bit of TV. Kind of curious where Peppermint was because she's in her little um, formal wear, which I think is the cutest little outfit. But it looks like she's going to go ahead and help herself with some food, which is fine. Um, I'll never get mad at like Peppermint coming over and like taking care of herself. But it makes me a little bit worried because I'm curious, curious if they're not doing very well with money. Because every single time she's like over here, she's starving. So... I just, I don't know, we'll let her just go ahead and eat. Um, Amber's just going to have a bit of a conversation with her, which I think is so cute. She's, like, watching TV and, like, com conversing with her grandma and just spending some time together. And I feel like this is stuff that, there's enough space to build an igloo. I mean, okay, I don't know who's trying to build an igloo, but all right. Um, and then when you're done, how about you ask her to join and watch some TV with you? I feel like that. Okay, so we're over here at this party. There's literally nobody here. But... Nikki and his dog. Um, yeah. So, I don't know what's up with that. But apparently it's just a party for two. Which reminds me of like that Shania Twain song. If you guys know what song I mean. But, uh, yeah. So, there's literally like nobody here. Um, there's a celebrity level is high enough to have gotten in with Nikki Wong. Well, I would hope so. She has to want to insult his home. Which I am going to do, let her do. She's mean spirited, you know. She's going to do what she wants to do. But, uh, I'm hoping. Okay, go make up your mind. She's like, I want to insult his home, but I also really want to know what his sign is. Like, Rosa girl, what are you doing? Uh, okay, so you can ask him about his sign. She's, like, super tired, so we can maybe use that as an excuse. Rosa's behaving inappropriately. Yeah, that's Rosa. <laughs> Can't really say anything. Who's surprised by that? Not me. Um, okay, so they do seem to actually be attracted to each other. I apologize, the snow is lagging my game just a little bit, but uh, she's going to figure out his sign, and now she wants to pillow fight with him, and he's a Virgo, apparently. Alright, well, if you really want to pillow fight with him, I will let you. Apparently, you guys are friends all of a sudden, so I mean, sure, and, oh. Okay, she wants to, like, kiss him. What is the side of Rosa? I feel like we haven't seen this side. Huh. I'm honestly very, like, curious by this. What did this guy bring out in her? Because, like, she's not one that wants to pillow fight. And then now she's, like, wanting to kiss him. But I do want pictures, I'm not gonna lie. I want pictures so I can, like, take a look and, like, keep mem moments of this version of Rosa. Because I definitely don't feel like that's, like, her. So maybe this guy's gonna be good for her. Hmm. Oh, that was, like, right in the face, dude. That's not cool. All right. Uh, okay, so I went ahead and gave Nikki a bit of a makeover. I just changed his hair, and then I gave him a custom skin with the same skin tone. Honestly, he's kind of cute. Like, I'm not mad at him. So here he is. This is Nikki. I didn't change any facial features, just his skin and his hair. And, like, he's pretty cute. I'm not mad at it. Um... Okay, can you guys, like, look at little Lou over here? Lou's a very cute dog. I think it was actually one that was, like, glitching out, though. 
But uh, so just because she has some want to kiss him, I feel like she would just kind of go for it. So I'm going to let her go for the heat of the moment kiss. Oh, his hair is like glitching out. Are you kidding? Don't glitch like that when I'm about to do this. Um, why are you sad? And, okay, cool, he's into it. I was like, is this gonna mess things up? So he must be, like, single or something. I should pro should have probably checked that. But that's my guess. Uh, tell Nikki to kiss another sim. Girl, cool. make up your mind. We're not doing that. There's nobody else here. But, um, I should probably ask. Uh, we'll ask him about his career, because I am kind of curious about that. See what he does for a living. And then, uh, he's in the music industry. He's a band manager. That's kind of cool. I feel like that could definitely be, like, her, up her alley. Uh, I'm going to let them actually go ahead and take a bit of a romantic photo. She also really needs to go to the bathroom. So I will let her do that. And then I might actually let her stay the night here, which typically I wouldn't do. Um... Alright. And then, uh, we'll see if we can, like, ask to stay over. I feel like he wouldn't be mad at it. But it also looks like this is a fairly big house. So, like, if you didn't want to share a bed with her, like, it's no big deal. You know what I mean? And it look, I think he probably lives here alone, other than the dog. Uh, Okay. And then, I should have probably done this before, but we're going to ask him if he's single. I'm assuming he is. Because it didn't pop up saying he was, like, non-committal or anything. Uh, okay, so he's rich. I kind of figured that, but he said yes, so that's kind of cool. And I kind of want them to... Okay, so he is single, but you know what? I was going to say, I kind of want them to woohoo, but I don't think I'm going to. Um... I feel like I should wait for her to like have that want, so I'm gonna let her just go to bed. And then we'll play on over here to these two, which I think Peppermint should still be here. I didn't see anything, yes she is. Awesome, I was gonna say I didn't see anything about her saying she was leaving. So how about we go ahead and ask Peppermint to stay the night, ask to move in. I mean we probably could do that, but there's no room in this house. Um. Oh no, I think Carlo's dying, you guys, because it just popped up that, that people are getting inheritance from him. That's not good, that means Peppermint's going to be a widow for the second time. Um, okay, how about we ask if she wants to sleep over, she can take Rosa's bed for the night. Uh, Carlo's getting pretty old, Amber just got her charisma up to level 2. Copper's already asleep, which is cute. Okay, so she is actually going to stay the night. Awesome. You can go ahead and go to the bathroom. She's a little bit hungry, but I'm going to wait till the morning. So I'm going to let... Okay, so we are back. And I'm actually going to actually... I cannot speak. I'm going to wrap this part up here because it's Rosa's birthday. So I want to do that in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you're already subscribed, you want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. And make sure your YouTube notifications are turned on. And I'll see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies.